Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lord Exus, and I want to welcome you all back to Walsen, Lords of Mayhem. This is going to be episode four, and we're going to get back in today and go with Edric, the friend we picked up near the Flayers encampment, on the way to meet our adopted father, or adoptive father, sorry, Hemlock, and find out exactly what has happened to Valeria and try and get some answers as well as absolve ourselves of any wrongdoing. So we're going to do this today. I think, uh, if I just quickly check, yes, in the last episode I sold off everything I didn't need. We are in fact level 9 right now. Silas is level 9. We got a few bits of gear, not as much as I'd like. The boss that we fought and put me down twice and nearly killed me didn't drop anything of great use for our wannabe warrior Silas. Uh, eventually we end up getting hold of this Gladys here, so that was uh, that was nice. Um, and uh, we resorted to having the longsword in the offhand. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's how we're doing. Not not great on the gear score, and I'm losing health or by the bucket load when I fight. But hopefully that won't be a problem today. Anyway, we're gonna pour our way over to the next area. And uh, it's not the tribute chamber. Where was the next area? Uh, the Flares Outpost up here, of course. And uh, the description reads as follows. The shore was already shaped in a hostile way, dotted with wrecks that accumulated over the years. But since the soul surges began, its grimness reached a whole new level. One can only wonder why wildlings are still fighting for their nearby outpost. So they're calling these things soul surges, where the... Uh, undead and ghosts rise up from the ground the nightmares and ghosts so uh anyway this is where we are this is where we're going to so let's uh get back in i don't hear him he was behind us where did he would you bloody shut up and listen go check why me just go Edric! My, my. Look who's paying us a visit. I missed you, brother. I'm glad you survived that mess down there. So am I. You've seen Val? Edric, have you seen her? Yes. Did she talk to you? She did. She pleaded your case to me and Malis. Your strange condition, the surges of witchcraft, everything. We wanted to bring this to Father, but... Malis had lost her mind after seeing you transform. Sending an Alistair to get you back, Valeria stood in her way. She's all right. Just detained for now. But Malis might want to make an example of her. She's kept with our prisoners of the Brotherhood of Dawn. Come now. We have to meet Father. Only he can keep Malis in check and make things right. Okay guys, so I didn't realise the cutscene would play again, so that gives us a small recap of what happened at the end of the last episode, of course, we met up with our brother Edric here, and uh, the events that just transpired, transpired, sorry, uh, happened at the end of the last episode, and that's where I left it, so that was, uh, I didn't realise that would happen, that's pretty cool, uh, so yeah, nice and caught up, okay, let's move on. Okay, awesome, and Edric helping us out there, so it's going to be a little bit easier for a while. You're just going to stand and let your, let your cape get burnt. Okay, Edric. Nice. This demon we crossed is crushing these lands. I doubt the demon alone is behind this. As powerful as they are, this amount of power is unprecedented. He's not alone. We found out that a whole cult is with him. The Cult of the Sleeper, they call themselves. We don't know what they want, though. That demon, did you get his name? I wish. I just got his rage. If only we would have taken him together. Tell me about it. No, okay, okay, so... The Cult of the Sleeper. Interesting. 
Yeah, it seems strange as well. I don't know if I've uh, locked off my uh, tab map somehow, uh, but I don't seem to be able to access it, so I'm going to have to rely on the mini map. I'm in the top corner. Oh, should not have stood there. Nice. Okay, let's pick up some of the some of the loot. Nice. Sovereign shout has increased, has leveled up. Awesome. While we're here, let's just look at some of the powers. So we have uh, four more skill modifier points for Anvil's Woe. That only uh, reduce rage cost. However, we are very close to level 10. And uh, this only requires four, as does this. So higher cool crit chance on stunned enemies. Fantastic. Sovereign Shout has uh, got four. So we're going to do one of these. Grants rage per enemy hit by the shout and improve rage per hit duration of the skill. And increase the likelihood of health globe spawning while this ability is active. Hmm. Just because I'm taking a lot of damage, I'm actually going to do that one. Usually I wouldn't. And of course, we've got the same with Wings of Ishmir. Um, it can now increase by more points. But uh, we have increased flight speed, which is cool. But what do we have at level 10? Stuns on impact. Awesome. And we also have creates a damage dealing shockwave. Oh, these two. Going to wait for these two. And we only need to wait until level 10. So that's going to be awesome. Ah, yeah, lovely, lovely monies. Another earthquake. Get ready. Oh, here we go. Nice. Get wrecked. Awesome things. Awesome things. Okay. So I'll go have a look around here. Oh, should not have stood there. Always forget that they're explosive barrels. Oh, you guys are just posing. Fancy deaths. Nice. Nice, quick, and brutally clean. Or, although not really, it's kind of quite messy. But hey, hello, doggo. Bye bye, doggo. Okay, is there anything on this bridge? There is. Oh, and there we go. Level 10 as predicted. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you're going to put toughness up and. Ferocity up as well. In fact, we'll go down in toughness by one and ferocity up to a nice clean 80. Fantastic. We're going to confirm that. And we're going to go over here. I know there's some stuff left to cover in here, guys, but I wanted to go over this way. Ooh. There we go. Oh. And finally, uh, Warmonger. Fantastic. So, plus 20% melee weapon damage and plus 5% attack damage. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get Lots of nasty benefits being in here. Blood Reaper, percentage of physical damage becomes rent damage. Nice. Uh, Feast for the Crows, give all forms of damage. Leech life, leech life heals you. That one, that one I want. That one I want a lot. And finally, Gods Amongst Men, plus 80% material damage can only deal material damage. Okay. Cool, cool. We're going to confirm that. Okay, we're going to go back there in a little while. But now we're over here and we're going to get stuns on impact for uh, for Wings of Ishmir. Sovereign Shout, can't do any more for that for now. And uh, here on the Anvil's Woe. We're actually going to give it an increased area of effect. 
also fantastic. Okay, let's make our way back round to the crack path. We are now level 10, guys, so halfway through the levels we can achieve in Act 1. No, I didn't pick that up for some reason. Okay, carrying on. Absolutely fucking brutal. I love it. Okay, let's look some of some of our gear. Have we got anything of repute? Another great sword I cannot use. This would be better than oh no, it's not. It's not. I stand corrected. What have we got here? Slayer's Fury. Uh, again, it's only usable with daggers, bows, and pistols. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. I don't believe. Yeah, we don't have anything else that amazing right now. Although this, this could work in in favour of us. We'll put that on for now. Plus, we look damn sexy as hell now. We actually look quite symmetrical. I like this. I like it a lot. Okay, I know I shouldn't choose looks over, uh, over full functionality, but, you know. Sometimes I'm a stickler for looking good while I slaughter my enemies. Okay, fantastic. Pick this up here. And again, we've only got a few spaces in the inventory left before we have to port back to town, guys. Oh, they just turned into a red mist. Nice. So we'll go up here because this looks like a dead end. I uh, could not roll through that. That one I did. Come here, you. Pain in my ass. Okay, I believe Edric finished him off, but hey. Ooh, another Gladius. Or Gladius, depending on how you want to pronounce that. What does this give us? 11 to 20 compared to the 9 to 14. So obviously better. Uh, three rage conservation time, three seconds of rage conservation time, uh, plus 10% critical hit damage, plus 5 to 9 physical damage on attacks with this weapon. Okay, we're going to take it. Beautiful. What does this look like? Oh, it does have a gleam to it. That's nice. One blue, one white. Fantastic. Did not mean to press that button, guys. Sure, I'm a noob. Ah, oh, beautiful things. Does help a lot having Edric here. And plus we're no longer fighting poisonous enemies, which are obviously my least favourite type of enemies. Okay, what's in the chest? Uh, nothing good. Okay, and this is a perfect time to pour back to town and sell our wares. Let's do this thing. Okay, fantastic. Let's go and see our boy Mojave. Ah, oh, we have Blade Storm. We did pick up another thing. Okay, we're not going to sell that one. We're going to keep that to the side and we'll have another skill. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Okay, come out of there. We're going to learn this. Blade Storm is now number two. We don't have enough rage. I was going to use it then. I don't know why I always uh, always feel like uh, to use the new power straight away. Anyway, we're going to sell these ones for more primordial affinity. We now have over 10,000 of that, so we probably could use this. What does it actually do? Summons an enormous greatsword. Uh, and cut a path through hordes of enemies, spinning to maintain momentum. Ah, uh, it's spin to win. We like a bit of spin to win. Might make it a little bit too easy. Let's go back and try. 
Fantastic. We'll just pick up this uh, crap again for now. Okay, that doesn't seem to last very long. But uh so not so much spin to win. We won the battle against the Brotherhood of Dawn. We did. The camp is burning as we speak. Did they fight well? Not well enough. Taking the flank left them no chance to rally and push us back. Where's our camp? Nearby. We're packing up and ready to leave. Stormfall wouldn't be too happy if they found a Republican army near their borders. Oh, trust me. Stormfall is much worse to worry about with tormented souls roaming the countryside. Okay, so, uh, the uh, Purifiers won against the enemy they came here to uh, destroy to begin with, which is, uh, good for them. Might not be or doesn't sound quite as good for us. And, uh, yeah, obviously they were just discussing exactly what Stormfall uh, is going to do against the Purifiers if if the purifiers were to go there but in fact they would actually benefit from their aid anyway uh yeah so bladestorm not 100 percent uh percent in uh impressed by it uh but then again it's kind of good that it isn't a massive spin to win and just like you carve through countless enemies it'd make it a little bit too easy because of course it would anyway moving on <coughs> Don't want to hide behind that ch- Well, I did try and tell him. Beautiful. Corpse over here. Always check your corpses, guys. Oh, okay. Well, you guys can fuck off. Oh, devastation. That extra bit of, uh, extra bit of shockwave from Anvil's Woe is fantastic. Don't want to get too close to the explosive barrel. That wrecked. Nice. Oh, into the caves. Edric, you don't seem to be fighting too well for a guy in massive armor. Oh, absolutely eviscerated. Awesome things. Nice, loving that stun. Oh, I can get shit on. And again, these are contextually low-level enemies compared to the nasty poison ones that I had to think about tactics and avoidance before. Nice. Okay, chest here. What we got? Dark iron pistol. Nothing, nothing of note. Not for us. Awesome. Anything over here? Nothing but what looks like the sea. Mm, 
Okay. Cool, we are clear. Oh, here we go, here we go. fucking dealt with awesome things okay so our inventory is full once again do we have anything we can equip what is this that is the consuming embers of the mage and the bulwark of dawn only usable with staves or catalysts so that's that's something new for me because uh, that's actually a spell and i have never had that on my wizard character so that i am actually going to add into my inventory either i never had it or i never chose it when I had my uh, mage class or my magic user. Anyway, turning to town. Okay, let's talk to Mojave. Let's uh, get rid of some of this stuff. Fantastic, we don't need a health potion either. We do need to go, is into here. I'm just going to put this in here. I'm going to use that at a later date. As for the consuming embers, I have had that on my magic user, so I do not require it anymore. Get rid of that. Fantastic, and back we go. Ooh, a new ring. Might be uh, worth a look. We also have these. Uh, not as good as actually what we have now, or at least not in terms of overall resistance. Okay. What is the ring? Plus 30 maximum health, plus 4.5 health regeneration, and plus 6% spellcasting speed. Okay, so not that great. Uh, so, this is actually better than this thing, because this the Topaz ring looks like it's mainly geared towards, um, geared towards the magic side of things. So I want the damage and the health, so that's uh, that's cool. Right, I'm going to start only picking up the blue items now. Because uh, that seems more prevalent now. Okay, so Bladestorm can level up. In fact, it's got 4 out of 4 of its ability point modifiers. So, what have we got here? Reduce rage cost, increase damage. Well, of course, increase damage. Why would we not? I don't mind using my rage. I build it up quick enough. Fantastic. And we also have... Thunderstrike. What is Thunderstrike? Oh, of course, it is the mage spell, Thunderstrike. Okay, fantastic, guys. Right, let's make our way. We'll go this way. Oh, get shit on. Oh, and a Lapis Lazuli. Go through the cave. Okay, apparently we can't go through the cave. That is actually not a cave. Nice. Chest here. Ooh, banded pauldron. Fur boots. Nah, it's a shame. It's a shame they didn't have more melee uh, get towards the melee. Did hurt myself quite badly there. Pressed the wrong button. <laughs> no, get wrecked. Awesome. Sovereign Shout has increased its level. Fantastic. Nothing worth picking up there. Okay, we're just going to come back down this way. See what else we can get. Journeyman Britches. 
Oh, knocked me out of the air with that, you little bitch. Okay, fantastic. Still pick up all the gold as we go, because why the hell not? Remember the Battle of High Peak? You mean the slaughter of High Peak? Aye, we were down to the three of us with Val. Outnumbered ten to one with no escape route. The final stand of the Children of Hemlock. It was a close one. Yes. Why the nostalgia, though? That night, the three of us swore to always keep each other's back. No matter the odds. No matter the odds. Yeah. I meant every word of it and still do. I don't care what kind of curse has fallen upon you, I won't let Malis get in your way, brother. The only judgment I acknowledge will be the one of Hemlock. Okay, good to know. Although I don't feel secure about what our father will judge us. Or me, specifically, as Silas. Okay, do we have anything else of interest around here? I thought I'd just let them uh, play out their little uh, conversation there, guys. It's always good to get some lore, or as much as much story as we can in these games. Oh, get shit on. Oh, that shockwave only just hit them. I need to get Edric the fuck out of my way. He's slowing me down. Edric, you are pathetically weak, considering. Missed me. Yeah, okay, we just go up here. There's some elite mobs up here. And dealt with. Awesome. What have we got here? An interact, consuming embers, power bridges, masterwork arm plates. What have we got? Ah, oh, that'll uh, go over the top of you. Fantastic. And we do have a better banded pauldron here to go over the masterwork plate pauldron. So, literally going to replace this. Uh, it's got agility base, but it does have health regen, so we're going to replace the grey one. So we look odd again, but hey, better stats are better stats. Fantastic, okay. What is this? A small willpower potion. Not going to equip it, obviously. But uh, always good to know that there are mana potions in the game as well, guys. Just for those of you that were wondering. But of course there are. Okay, I'm just going to pop up here. Looks like another dead end. That actually missed everybody. Done. Another blade storm interact. And another masterwork arm plate. But it's not as good as what I already have, so... That's fine. Okay, let's mosey. Oh, I'm from behind as well. Done. Done like a, dare I say it, dog's dinner. 
Okay, I'm I'm not gonna tell jokes anymore because I'm really really bad at them. Okay, swear I put that up to AE. Okay, I put some more on that, and we'll go to 84 and 110 on toughness. Fantastic. And here we are back in uh, the Warmonger skill tree on this side. We're gonna increase that, and uh, we're gonna increase that so we just can go straight for Feast of Crows. Uh, which is global leech life of course and uh, then we'll start buffing up some of these because that'll just make us that much more powerful fantastic on either side of that and of course we want to go up here as well to the blood reaper because uh, having a uh, cancel sorry confirm first uh, because having rend damage is always good make people bleed make them bleed a lot go up here quickly before we engage the enemy down there Those guys, uh, those guys can take a little bit of hits. A little bit of hits? Sorry guys. As you already know from watching my videos, English is not my forte. Fantastic. Okay, so these guys did in fact come up to attack us. I was paying more attention on dealing as much damage as possible. Hmm, random broadsword. Shouldn't have picked it up, but hey. Okay, we are hurting on space. I don't know why I was, was thinking I wasn't. The remains of the Brotherhood of Dawn's camp is north of us. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Fantastic, right. We're just about full, so I'm going to port back to town, guys. Okay. Quick look over what I've got. Now oh, we have some masterwork greaves. They do give us two toughness. Oh no, sorry, that's what I'm already wearing. Jesus. Jesus, Exus, learn to play the game. Okay, so uh, the battle boots are the ones I was uh, highlighting there. Jesus Christ, I do apologize, guys. It has been a long day, but uh, no excuses. Okay, let's go and talk to my boy Mojave. Fantastic. And we'll talk to Demetra down here. Just sell them off. And uh, take our gem for socketing into certain items and weapons. And we'll put that, put that in here. And as you can see, guys, just quickly showing you here. I mean, you could see it up here, but there are weapons up here. They, in fact, can have uh, stuff socketed into them. It says offense or offensive there. Uh, so it would be an offensive socket. And the gems, as you can see, like the chip amethyst here. Uh, has different stats attached to it depending on what you attach it to, which socket you put it in. So for offensive, it's plus four to occult damage. Defensive is plus one to occult resistance score. And support socket is plus two percent to occult status alignment chance score. So sorry, ailment chance score. So that's kind of how that thing works. In case I haven't explained it before, I might have done in the first episode. I cannot remember. Anyway, let's go back to the flares outpost. Ooh, we're moving on to the Battleborns. Ambush! No matter the odds! No, no matter, matter the, the odds. odds! Nice. Ha! 
They're relentless. Come at us, Kurs! Come here. And there we go. Oh, two big boys left. There we go, got rid of that bomber. And dealt with. Oh, Narlog, level nine. With your Republican skin. Absolutely hammering into him. Jesus Christ! Not even, not even focusing on his men here. Oh, he's got spin to win as well. Well, I have a giant fucking hammer. And fucking dealt with. Oh, there's still a few of these guys left, okay. Well done, Edric. Glad you could, uh, glad you could help that. So, what have we got here? Skirmish bow, a Taj. So there, and a few other little bits. Again, only one thing for me, I think, and that's uh, not that. That is, in fact, this, the Banded Pauldron. And uh, this one gives us less health, same ferocity, and a willpower cost reduction. I actually like this one more, so that's not going to change. And it's actually not as good as the Banded Pauldron I'm already wearing, so... No, not so much. Um, also, the Topaz Ring is absolute wank. These these bosses and mini-bosses and so on and so forth really, really don't like giving me anything I want. Which is a little bit, little bit shit. But uh, it is the way it is. Okay, we're ready to move on. So, we've got to find the Purifier's Camp. So, uh, out this way. So, we have to cross the Ravaged Camp. And uh, I know that smell. We're burning the bodies. No choice. You've seen the necromancy as much as we did. We're not letting this cult have a pile of bodies to fuel its ranks. We should fight them while we're here. Stormfall is filled with future cadavers. You know as well as I do that Stormfall refused a Republican protector at more times than I can think of. If they want to fight alone, let them die alone. They're not simpletons. Their sovereignty would die with Republican troops keeping their lands for them. Everything has a cost. Now is the time for them to earn their sovereignty or die trying. The purifiers are going home. We are going home, brother. Okay, so Edric is against helping Stormfall. Uh, and, uh, you know, our character is not. But uh, we have to make our way through here anyway, so cross the ravaged camp. So we're going to go through here and hopefully meet up with the other purifiers. Or maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh, the purifiers absolutely fucked this place. Like, hard. Like really hard. Yeah, these guys are screwed. We did basically have an army with us though, so. That one still lives. Okay, let's talk to uh, this guy. Finish him. Wait! I won't beg for mercy. I made my Callahad, hey. Finish this, you have to know. Know what? What were you doing here? We tracked an unholy procession from the Cult of the Sleeper all the way to the coast of Rex. But a powerful magic shrouded their final destination. 
soon after. When the Svalir crisis began, we made an agreement with Merchant Prince Damascus that we would handle the Cult of the Sleeper while he protects the population from the Svalir. We made camp and studied the signs. The surges from below. Yes, they're gaining strength, whatever is causing them. Those cultists, what do they want? Did you learn anything? We were preparing an expedition to find out. Below Stormfall, our scouts had just found a necropolis that runs deep beneath the earth. Something is hidden there. But the Republican assault ruined our chances to help the city. Stormfall is doomed. I've heard enough. Your judgment awaits, brother. No more delays. Let's go. Okay, so these guys were actually trying to help Stormfall when the purifiers decided to uh, waltz on in and slaughter these guys so unceremoniously. Um, so we done goofed, or our group, the purifiers, the Republican purifiers, done goofed. We thought they were practicing witchcraft, but in fact they were following necromancy. So, uh, oh shit, would be the tagline for that. Hashtag, oh shit. We're going to the Green Bluffs. We made camp on the other side of this grove. Okay, let's make it through this lovely grove. It looks much, much more friendly than uh, the place we just came from. Ooh, lots more spiders though. So when I said it looked much more friendly, I was uh, wrong. Edric, you need to get the fuck out of the way of the enemy so I can click on them. Awesome. So this is just uh, one quite large chunk of a uh, green area, which is fine. Oh, and for some, some reason I can tab target now. Oh, uh, sorry, tab map now. Okay, yeah. And uh, I don't think I've shown you guys these things. These are just like little mini challenges. Defeat X amount of enemies. And uh, yeah, gain X amount of stuff. Oh my god, they've got poison. Because of course they have. Not this time, dickhead. Not this time. Oh, that wasn't a poison one though. That was puking out enemies. Fantastic. So yeah, we got a few bits of gear which again all is absolutely fucking useless to me what if hemlock doesn't understand what if he listens to malus his judgment is final there's no point arguing whether or not he will make the right choice he saved our lives and gave us purpose if he believes that you betrayed that purpose it's his prerogative to end you just like that he wouldn't bat an eye oh trust me i would be devastated but i would accept it nonetheless and so should you Oh, easy for you to say. It's not your neck on the line. Don't speak like that. There are worse fates than death. And dishonoring the judgment of the man that made you who you are is one of them. His ruling will clarify everything. We just have to go through Malis. Oh, wow. So our, uh, our brother, so to speak, uh, one of the orphan children that we grew up with and were raised alongside, has so much as stated that whatever Hemlock decides, whether it be our own execution, that that's fine. It's fine because he raised us and there are things worse than death. Um, I'm finding it hard to believe that right now, but hey, hey. Yeah, oh, did not need to spin there. So this area is quite nice and light compared to a lot of uh, a lot of the chapter or the act. Sorry, we've been through so far. I quite like it. It's a nice, a nice break. Nice. And as you guys can probably see on the mini map up there, down here is a. Uh, 
is another one of those crystal challenge things. Just absolutely pulverized a bear until it was nothing but jibs. Fantastic. <laughs> Get away, spiders. Another great sword. Fantastic. Should be a chest up here as well. Away. Okay, so this is a cursed chest. Let's do this thing. Oh, hello, Spectre. And <laughs> done. What do we get for our hardware? A master worked waistcoat, goddammit. Hard steel pauldron and a shield. So we got this, which is, of course, meant for a caster type. But we did get a hard steel pauldron, which, uh, yeah, it gives us a decent amount of toughness, but only 7, plus 17 material damage compared to the banded pauldron anyway. And it's still, technically, as far as I'm concerned, not as good as this, because this gives us more stats I want. We do have a Masterwork Spangenhelm again. Uh, and that is... Objectively better. Looking at this, have uh, I still want my minuscule amount of? Uh, yeah, I'd rather take my minuscule amount of health regeneration off the other thing. So yeah, that's all the good stuff from that. Okay. Okay, just get rid of these guys, and then we'll activate this. Nice. So we get a little bit of a buff for that. That's what the uh, glowing circle underneath me is. Okay, that just leads back round. Nice. Just deal with the animals. Nice. Picked up another Gladius or Gladius. 13 to 20 damage and plus 6 to 8 sacred damage on attacks with this weapon. No, still not quite as good, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got some elite mobs up here. Nah, uh, don't try and get away. Random dogs spawning out of nowhere. And <laughs> just get shit on. Studded leather tunic there. And some normal... Normal grey or white items. get rid of those spiders straight away and not playing that game okay so I'm gonna arc back I 
At least I think I'm going to arc back round down here, guys. Um, and if not, we'll come back. Because I think we're meant to go over the, the bridge thing that way. Ah, uh, done. And we have run out of room for all of our stuff, so we're going to have to port back to town one more time. Okay, Mojave, my man. Let's just sell some of this stuff off. What do you have here? More wings of Ishmael. Not necessary. Fantastic. I am aware, by the way, guys, just in case you're screaming at me right now, that I did, in fact, uh, s uh, accidentally sell one of the NRX rather than selling it for points to uh, Demetra over here. I'm aware. Sometimes I click so fast, I uh, don't know what I'm doing. So, oh, I sold them both. Okay, absolute tool. Absolute unit. Anyway, um, yeah, going back. Okay, let's just uh, pick up some of our bits and pieces. Chipped emerald, that will come in handy. Fantastic, fantastic. What are we looking at here? Okay, so this is in fact the dead end that I was looking for. We'll just uh, circle around. Oh, we've got some guys here. No, oh, nice. More chunks. Gotta love the chunks. Fantastic. Another Gladys. Another great sword. Probably uh, not much benefit to them. Oh, sorry, Gladius. Um, I keep saying Gladius. It's because I'm a, I'm a little bit special, guys. Medium Rage Potion. Jagged Saber. Sorry, Jagged Star. God, I cannot English nor can I read today. Okay, oh, hello. Nice. What do you want? Do not fuck with me, bear. out of the way I feel like that spin should be a little more impactful like it should make some sort of juicier noise I mean everything else in this game does just not that or well, everything else so far that I've encountered does yeah maybe I'm maybe I'm asking too much but a sound effect change would be nice Awesome. Okay, let's quickly deal with these guys before they become a pain in my ass. Ah, oh, more of you guys. So many more of you guys. Sorry, guys. I, I could have ran into them there. I was just waiting for the Wings of Ishmael to come back. Okay, okay. All right, let's go and uh, pick up the Blood Star Ring, Owl Scarf, and the Great Mace. That's all we needed from there. The uh, Bloodstar Ring, plus 44 to maximum health, 4.4 regeneration, plus 9%. Yeah, that's better than the Bloodstar Ring we have so far, just because of the critical hit damage. Uh, so yeah, I want that. It's slightly less health regen, but I'm um, not too bothered about that. Okay, so we in fact did level up to level 12, guys, so let's do this one more time. Okay, just going to actually put my toughness all the way up. My ferocity is only going up one this time. We're going to work on Ferocity next time. Okay, so what we're getting here is a 2% global life leech. That's one thing we're doing. Um, 
Yeah, we need to go this way. One minute. Get out again. Ooh. Mani manic slaughter. Ooh. Yeah, I want the rend damage more. So two more. So next level we can get to here. And then we can get the Blood Reaper. Fantastic. So we, I, I'm going truly down the middle with this, guys. I'm going a little bit of toughness. Uh, yeah, a little bit of keeping myself alive. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, dealt with. Yeah, a little bit of keeping myself alive with toughness and a little bit of health regen and so on and so forth. And a lot more ferocity uh, on the warmongering side. Sovereign Shout has leveled up anyway. And, uh, yeah, we can now get this if we want. Grants bonus to all resistances per enemy hit by the Shout. So I need to run into a middle and use the Sovereign Shout. I'm not too fond of that. Uh, I like this. This better. So we need eight points. So three more points we can get that. Or we can wait to level 15 and enemies hit by the shout gain stacks of weakness. So we should really be using the shout when we're already in enemies. I use it beforehand. I'm um, probably not using that correctly. So I will do that from now on. Let's just pick up. Ooh. Ooh. More chunky looking armor. 61% uh, 61, uh, 61 to all resistance plus 5% added block chance. And yeah, this is better. This is much better. We're putting that on. Oh. Let's have a look at our a bad boy self now oh we actually look like a knight we look shiny we look like the tin man with his sheet metal cock fantastic okay let's move on nice yeah and dealt with again okay nothing else in this area let's let's move on yeah, we can go up now. Nice. You okay over here, fella? I just want to come back for your little brother. You may look like you're bigger than me, but uh, clearly you're having a hard time, even with the simplest of enemies. Hello. It's probably best if you didn't start attacking me, random flayers and bandits. What have you seen over here? Oh, these guys. Even though you weren't actually going towards these guys. Just uh, turn you into all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of fine red mist. Okay. Hello, guys. Sorry, I just needed to get a little bit closer. I've been doing that a lot recently. Hitting my hammer way off the mark that's right my anvil's woe anyway we are ready to go on to an event called the plea let's do this i see you have brought back the fugitive i came of my own accord that's good take him stand down soldiers you have no authority to judge him alone only grand inquisitor hemlock can do not question my orders, Edric. I won't be as forgiving as I was with your treasonous sister. I won't make the same mistake twice. What do you mean? Some Brotherhood of Dawn prisoners broke free and escaped. Valeria was among them. We're preparing for the hunt. Look, Valeria's mistakes are hers and hers only. He, on the other hand, has always been loyal to us in the Republic. Do not treat him like those curs you sentenced to death by the dozen. Ah, take them both! Prepare the gallows! Enough! Stand down, Malus. I will take it from here. Grand Inquisitor. Let us walk. 
these tricks, powers of yours, how did they manifest? They just appeared. Something unlocked within me. Look, I know how it seems, but I assure you, I didn't bargain with demons. Inquisitors know better than to believe words. Inquisitors maybe, but you're more than that. To me at least. Okay there guys, uh, now we're meeting with Daddy Dearest. This of course is Grand Inquisitor Hemlock. And uh, Maylis, Maylis, that bitch just wanted to straight up execute us. And Edric as well. And uh, we did get one valuable bit of information though. Valeria has escaped with the Brotherhood of Dawn people. The people that were mainly slaughtered by the Purifiers, by our group. And uh, she's on the run. So she's escaped somewhere. So uh, yeah, let's hope she's safe. Anyway, let's talk to Hemlock. Let's assume I believe you. What did you expect by coming back here? Only what's right for Valeria and I. I cannot afford the political cost of sheltering you, but I can give you another chance at survival, another chance to serve mankind far from these lands. You will leave for Stormfall at once and live as an exile by taking the first boat to the city of Gamora. Among the pariahs of the world, you might not be noticed. Even if I do, what of Edric? What will you do with Valeria? She was just evading Mela's frenzy. She is still loyal to you in the Republic. No! Your path isn't theirs, not anymore. Even my influence couldn't save Valeria. Her fate is sealed. Accept it as I must. She deserves more than being chased and put down like a dog. I hoped you would not have been so cold for once. But you never cared, did you? I risk my political survival by talking to you. I should have killed you on the spot. Do not dare to presume to know my feelings. Let's make this very clear. You will do as I command. If you ever cross paths again with the Republic, or if you ever look for Valeria, you will forfeit this chance. Now go. This track will lead you back to Stormfall. Farewell, my child. Okay, and we have been exiled by the Purifiers and by Grand Inquisitor Hemlock. So, yeah. No, uh... No more fun for us, and if we cross paths with him again, he himself will execute us. So uh, we have to leave, and we have to leave our, our brother, Edric, behind. Okay, and we have completed that quest line. And of course we can have the masterwork padded Holberg, but, uh, and that is the heavy armor out of all this, and it is a rare rather than just a magic quality piece, but it's actually worse subjectively worse than what i'm wearing so i'm going to take it and uh yeah i did did i take it yeah i did take it i thought i chose another one not that it matters because i will not be uh using it anyway we have to enter the palace there is no giving up on family no matter the odds right val damascus you will help me find her so we're gonna go and see merchant king damascus but first again we're gonna sell quite a few bits and pieces because we want a nice clean inventory just in case we get some other other nice stuff and these other few little bits and pieces we're going to put into storage because uh, I can use them on other characters at other times perhaps perhaps however ladies and gentlemen we're not going to see King Damascus today because I have run out of time for this video. We're actually a little bit over time, but I really got into this and got a little bit carried away. And we had to, we had to go meet Hemlock. We had to uh, hear that awesome voice of his again. I don't know who voice acts that, but that is pretty fucking tanky. That's pretty beefy, and he's uh, he sounds like a bad motherfucker, to be fair. But yeah, so I have to end the video here. Um, we'll pick straight up in the next episode by going to see King Damascus and finding out if he knows whether or not where Valeria is because that's what we need to kind of do next we know she's on the run and we're planning to go help her again we don't give up on family 
So, with that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I've very much enjoyed playing. As usual, I have been Lord Exus, and I'll see you guys in the next video. In a bit!